Hi all, let's talk about how to enable audit in SSIS or what is audit transformation in SSIS. See the answer is audit transformation is the one which will help us to enable audit in all SSIS projects. In all SSIS packages and projects. So what really it captures. So apart from the real project data, so audit transformation helps us to capture server details, project and package level details and execution time and time details and user details as well. So those are all the details. It won't fr come from the source systems. So package itself capture these details and if you require, you can take it. Then how to enable and how to configure this audit transformation SSI package. Let us see now. So let's go to SQL Server Data Tools. So there I just taken a plot file source which are of having some four columns and three rows. ID, name, location and gender. So it just configured. Now I just uh, dragged and dropped the audit transformation. So it is not configured. So let me double click on the audit transformation to configure it. Let's double click on it. Yeah, here this is the place where you are going to configure. So these are all the list of proper list of columns or list of properties you can capture with the help of the audit transformation. So if you want a machine name or if you want a username who is running, if you want a task name who, like what task which is running, let us say I have 10 tasks in the SSI package. So you want to capture task name, it select the task name. It automatically comes a task name here. You can change the name if you want, whatever the column. Next, some package name. Next, I'll take some other details, some execution ID or package ID, whatever the name you want. Execution start time. So let's click on OK. So I'm, I'm trying to take these three values. Click on OK. So apart from my four source columns, I'll be getting extra three columns. So let's take the flat file destination. So let's configure the flat file destination as well. So browse some flat file. Yeah, audit destination, it is empty file. Let's click on OK. Let's click on mappings and click on OK. Now I just configured this destination as well. So means I'm repeating again my flat file source having four columns and in the audit I selected three, four plus three, seven columns I should get into the destination because I have enabled only three audit columns. If you want to enable all the columns, you can enable it. Okay. So let's run this package. Once you're done with the design and development, let's run this package. Yeah, it's done. So and one more point. So audit transformation adds the columns only, not rows. Let's go to the output and see what are all the values are there. You see here ID, name, location and task name, package name, execution time. So this is how I'll be getting the audit information. Thanks. That's it. If you like our videos, please like and subscribe. Thank you.